Hi, I'm Brenton Brown, and you're watching WorshipTogether.com's New Song Cafe. Today we're going to be talking to worship leader Chris Tomlin and Matt Marr, writer of Your Grace is Enough. Enjoy this New Song Cafe. So Chris and Matt, you've got a song that you're going to share with us called Your Grace is Enough. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it's just a, a song I wrote from a, a really period of my life where... Um, I was reading Romans or and and uh, Paul's letters, especially in Second Corinthians, and he talks about having a thorn in his side and God's grace being sufficient in that, mm. and um, and just really kind of going, well, I'm not sure if I fully really believe that, but maybe if I write a song about it and I sing it enough, yeah. it'll sink in. And so, really, that's kind of the prayer with that song, and um, just like the thief on the cross asking Jesus remember me when you inherit your kingdom mm. just god look remember me i'm just you know i'm nobody but if you could remember who i am yeah um then maybe your your grace in my life would be sufficient for all things and i said a uh, youth specialties convention in phoenix and that's when chris heard it yeah we were playing uh this this these the leaders of this convention came and said hey would your band would could your band back this guy up to on the song and play this song grace is enough and um, I was like, sure, when are we doing it? And they're like, in about 20 minutes. <laughs> and here's the sheet, and here's the music. And so we have our, I remember, I remember I have it on the ground. We're all looking on the ground, you know, our faces on the ground, looking at the music as we're playing it for the first time, hearing it. And uh, it was amazing. I mean, uh, happy to see this song. I'm just like, this is a really great song. Huh. I mean, this is a really great song. And that, that chorus, and it's just, uh, the chorus is massive. What it does to people when you get to the chorus, it just really, you see the people's hearts catch it and explode, you know, yeah. when they sing it. Yeah, it's like a big exhale, isn't it? Yeah. Especially, I love the pre-chorus, uh, Remember Your People. It's just an amazing line to be able to sing to God mm -hmm. and then to confirm that truth. Yeah, it's funny because that's the line that people always kind of go like, wait, God shouldn't have to remember, right? And it's like, well, it's not for Him, it's for us. Yeah. You know? And it's a big theme in the Psalms, isn't it? You know? Yeah, very don't, much don't so. Don't forget us, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Why don't you play it? It is your faithfulness, oh God.
Wow. Great song. Beautiful. Amazing declaration. Thanks for writing it. Thank, <laughs> thanks for playing it. Yeah. So maybe you want to show us how, how you might play the song, what shapes you're using. Yeah, again, um, it's, it's Chris Tomlin here, so we're in the shape of G. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> the shape of worship. Yes. G, the key of worship. And uh, you can just, uh, for me, I, I just capo it in, into usually, I usually like, like to play an A. Um, That's capo two. Capo. K capo two. Yeah, um, and. Um, I, I, I'm not American. <laughs> And, but yeah, so it's basically G, and it's do the G over B. You just you're just moving your middle finger to the index finger. That's that's basically this, the the verses, and it's so simple. But the, this has this lead line that's really cool. That uh, yeah, um, but basically what you do is um, you've got your G and your B string, and you just go an octave above on the B string. Okay, and uh, you kind of let both of them ring out. Just so those two strings. Just those two strings. So you have um So if you can't afford a delay pedal, you just kinda hit both of them. But if you have probably you'd probably go. Cool. Yeah, so it's just there's kind of that And you're playing that over which chords? The chords for the yeah, and I'm just playing the from the verse verses the verse chords. Okay. Yeah, let's people know which song we're going into. Yeah. Pretty. So, and what happens during the um, the pre-chorus, the setup? Yeah, it goes to the A minor. Um, so remember, it's basically a, a lot of walking, walk, walking up um, in the bass. But remember your people. Is that G over B? Remember your children. Okay. Remember your promise. Okay. So. It's, So it's a big walk up basically from A. A, B, C, D, E. You got all your chords in G major. Every, yeah, we, we've covered them all. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. That's what you've ascended. In <laughs> and then the chorus, the chorus, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great songwriting. And then um, the chorus, what chords are you playing over there? Uh, just G. This isn't to D, to E minor. To see. So pretty much, if you know six chords, you can do the song. You can play right. the song. Right, absolutely. Fantastic. G, A minor, E minor, C, and D. And you're away. It's in right. any particular order. Yeah. Great writing, great playing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for sharing the song with us today, guys. Thank you.